Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Liz. And welcome to our channel, Save, Save More, More Waste Less. Less. Today we're going to talk about a side hustle that you can do and that you can start up tomorrow without any money down or almost no money down, only really investing your time. In part one, we covered how to find people who have items they no longer need and how you can help them by removing those items while at the same time creating yourself a side hustle. We also talked about how to secure the deal by acting professional and showing your appreciation. If you didn't see part one, please click on the link above. In our case, we had a Mercedes Sprinter, as we mentioned. It's the biggest Mercedes Sprinter you can buy, so you can fit a lot. However, it's still a van. Even though it's a van, it's the biggest van, but it's not the biggest vehicle. Obviously, it's not a semi. We end up renting a truck, and we spend more than $1,000 in rental. Sometimes you might consider buying a trailer. If you're buying a trailer, even if you buy a new trailer, you can buy it for as cheap as $1,500, uh, to like $6,000, you can buy brand new trailer. For the price of used, you per perhaps maybe can find one for $1,000, like we paid for the truck. Instead of renting, maybe you have a vehicle, maybe it's not a van, maybe it's not a truck, but maybe you have a tow bar, or maybe you can install one and buy for $1,000 a trailer and go there and load it up and bring it and offload it. So this way you don't have to have a van or you don't have to hire the truck. You can just use the trailer and the trailer stays with you. And when you finish moving it, you can either keep it and use it for your future building or something else later on, renovation. Trailers are very useful for that. Also, you can resell it later on. Let's say you borrow for 1,000, you used it for a month or two or, or six, and then you sold it for 1,000 or it, even if you sell for 700, you still paid only 300 dollars for like, let's say seven months. It's, it's pretty good. It's better than paying $1,000 for a week uh, for hiring the truck. So you can also buy a trailer and combine it with the truck. If you don't have a truck, you can still rent the truck, but instead of just taking one load and moving it back and forth, you can have a truck and the trailer and every time you drop it off, you do basically double the load. So that's another thing you can do even if you don't have much money and if you don't have maybe a van or a truck, maybe you already have a trailer, it's even better. After you figure out how you're going to transport the items, or maybe before you figure out how you're going to transport the items, you should figure out where you're going to store the items. It would be the best case scenario if you had your own storage, maybe on your own property, or maybe in the property that you rent. If you have a big enough storage, this would be best case scenario because then you wouldn't be paying additional rent to store those items somewhere. In our case, we live in an apartment. This wasn't a possibility for us. We could bring some things here, but the sheer volume meant that we couldn't fit it in our garage or in our apartment. We ended up having to hire storage which did cost a lot of money to do but if you have your own property this wouldn't be the case and this would actually be a more profitable venture for somebody who had that possibility lots of people sell these items on ebay there are many other platforms that you might be able to use so here in australia again gumtree is not the greatest platform to use but it is it works yeah it, it does work. You do get a lot of people just messaging you for no reason and never coming through to buy anything, but it still works. And we actually sold the majority of the items that we picked up and we sold them on Gumtree. Yeah, on the average, we were selling about six pallets per month of products. Imagine six pallets. That's, that's a lot, yeah. right? Uh, so all in all, it's about 100 pallets we sold using Gumtree platform and a little bit other platforms like Facebook, eBay, etc. But yeah, even like if you're UK, Australia or S South Africa, you can use Gumtree. Or if you're in America, you can use even Craigslist. It doesn't have to be paid platform to be able to sell that. And also those are the cheapest platforms, right? So people expect low prices and we didn't mind to sell at a low price because we didn't pay 
almost anything for it. The only thing we were paying for was basically transport costs, some of the gifts that we were giving, and also obviously storage costs, and then of course our labor. Yeah, like Elizabeth said, because it's a cheap platform and people expect cheaper items, uh, many times those platforms end up selling used items, like Gumtree in our case here in Australia. When we were selling some of the products like we have, for instance, we had almost 15,000 coat hangers. We had 19 different types of coat hangers. And when we were selling them on Gumtree, we were competing with people who were selling used coat hangers. Our new coat hangers, they were 150 something dollars uh, for a box, but because we were selling them between half price, which is only 75 dollars, to sometimes one third of its value, which is about 50 dollars. Imagine where other people were selling their used coat hangers between 50 dollars to 100 dollars for used. So if somebody is shopping around and they're looking for coat hangers and they see that these people are selling between 50 dollars to 100 for used, while you're selling between 50 dollars to 75 dollars for new, most people would buy new. You can also consider selling on places like online auctions. So we did use Gray's online auctions. We don't recommend Gray's online because we didn't have a great experience with them. Quite a long process just trying to get our items onto their platform. Then even when we did get them on there, there was a lot of problems with the advertisements themselves. However, if you are in a hurry to sell something and you don't want to spend much time taking pictures of every individual thing, you can use something like iBit on storage or any other ones like that where you can just take pictures of the entire stock, all of the boxes, the whole space, give dimensions of the storage, rough description of what's there and you can just sell it on a platform like that so you can sell it very quickly you're going to get a lot less money that way but you will probably get a result within a few weeks but definitely if you're looking to make a little bit more of a profit spend a little bit more time on your advertisements take actual pictures of the products you have good pictures preferably with a white background or at least a solid background not with a lot of clutter going on in the back, you know, be focused on the actual item that you're selling so people can really understand what it is, be as professional as possible, and then write a good description about it. Explain what this item is, then you can sell it on a better platform. And depending on what the product is, of course, because certain platforms cater to different kinds of audience. So if you're selling on SD, for example, you're gonna be selling something more along the arts and craft line. If you're selling on Grays Online, it would probably be something more along the industrial side, so industrial equipment. Or machinery. You are looking for people who need help to move items and move items quickly because they need the space. You are going to contact those people using your local Classfields website. You're going to be polite, you're going to be punctual, you're going to offer them something in return as a way to say thank you. Whether or not they're giving it to you for free or just selling it very, very cheaply, you need to show your appreciation. You're going to need to figure out your transportation and your storage. You can't expect this person to figure it out for you. Spend some time taking pictures, figuring out where you want to sell it, but in the end, you can make a nice tidy side income. In the end, from all of this, we made approximately forty-five to 50000 Obviously, that is not taken into consideration what we spent because we were not storing in our own property. We spent a lot of money on storing and we spent a lot of money on transporting it. But if you have your own transport, if you have your own property, you could definitely make a lot, you can actually keep a lot out of that amount uh, rather than spending it all on fees. Like Elizabeth mentioned, and one also additional reason and I, I should say the main reason we we wanted to try this is one so we can try something like that and learn doing it it's sort of like if you let's say if you're a boxer right you have a punching bag that you can practice on so this was the punching bag for us uh, instead of going on the ring you know, and facing the champion who will just knock you out, competing with people on Amazon who are mature sellers 
a lot of those people, they know what they are doing. If, if you're a newbie, it's going to be very hard to compete with these businesses and compete with those individuals who who got everything from marketing to like product research to fine art. You might be selling something on the platform among other people, other sellers who are professionals, seasoned sellers. And in this case, you want to learn. And this was a perfect opportunity for us to learn without having to, to spend for stock, which would then have to wait for it to arrive. Then we have to try to sell it. And if anything goes sideways, you basically deep plus all the time, plus additional money that you pay to customs, brokerage, this, that, the other, storage fees again, and like list goes on. Here we were able to do that. Also, we were able to help environment. And you're also helping the other person to not have to pay landfill fees, to not have to spend their time going to and from the tip, and to have their space cleared out quickly and as efficiently as possible. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash the like button, and we hope to see you next time on Save More Waste Less.